kind of nice when you go sort of towards the end because all of a sudden whatever you thought you were going to say at the beginning, you decide that you sort of want to incorporate everybody else's in your own in your own words. So maybe I'll try to hit a few points um, on this topic. Um, the notion about this topic, uh, social communication across borders, I do think the the global challenge is is, uh, is great, and um, it sometimes I as I I listen um, and I heard it, uh, the vice rector mention that uh, there was going to be a conference in which how social sciences and humanities could uh, be helpful in global social policy. Well. Uh, I'm not too sure as to whether social sciences and humanities can be helpful in global social policy. It seems like in many social policy situations, they have been less than helpful. So I'm not quite sure they should deserve another chance at it. Um, the reason I say that is not, not to be totally cynical, but look around you. There are boundaries that may not even be cross-cultural, intracultural. Many of us have colleagues that one can't find a basis for conversation, let alone find other people that there's a basis for conversation. The only reason there is not a basis for conversation is because we have a tendency to, to stick to our categories, if you will, our disciplinary categories, and talk through them, as opposed to talking in sort of conversational language. I think the first step may be to try to initiate meeting at the horizon, if you will. Think about a border being a horizon in which Somehow you may be in this country, you may be in this country, but where you have to meet is in that border. That border which belongs to neither country, and neither place, neither discipline. And that's where the meetings has to take place. And when that meeting can happen there, then the basis starts. But it can't be until one sort of, sort of starts from one ground, but sort of hopes they can meet in that other one. So I'm for looking at meeting at the horizon, and then I think you can start making and preserving and creating some sort of dignified, if you will, civil communication. 